Hello everyone, welcome back to Dynamic Modeling of Buildings and Cities, and this is Josh, and today I'll be covering about Boolean through tie flow. So Boolean through tie flow is different from a uh, normal Boolean. So it has quite some uh, control and integrity in here, it's, it's, uh, it's sort of like parametric. And this is not the tie Boolean fun modifier from tie flow. This is a different uh, this is a different option. So this is more like a forced uh, a forced to Boolean, but it's similar is quite similar to Grasshopper solid difference. So what we need to do first is to have two different shapes. I'll just create two boxes. And then you want to make sure that it has uh, it has the it has a grid and the segments. And for the next one here, it doesn't really need a segment. And we just want to subtract this with this. So let's just rotate this and then just move it like so. So in the normal boolean, this will this will be cut off based on this shape here. So from the time flow, it's going to have like a different, a little bit different process because time flow works in point cloud, so it's going to generate like a voxels, like mini boxes, based on the uh, based on the dot. So first thing you want to do is to delete those first just to clean this up and then add the tire flow like so and open the editor open the editor as such so you want to have like the birth you have to have a birth surface on the surface that's selected so this will mean this means that this is this dots here is the is the one that's going to be subtracted by this surface over here. So the way it works is that you want to have a surface test. A surface test which is below here. Surface test underneath there. And the way it works is that every dots in here that's going to uh, that's going to be pull uh, that's going to undergo a boolean process will be reduced by this surface over here. So basically imagine this minus this is, is sort of like that minus that. So what you want to do is just to have a surface test. Pick the subtracting box, which is the subtracting shape, which is the box over here. And then change the surface test type as volume outside. So every single dot of this box that's inside of this box, of this inside of the subtracted box, is going to be deleted and then we're just going to send this out to a new event and let's just do a mesh and then let's just do a shape there you go change the color so we can see the difference so as you can see it's, it's, it's changing now, before we going further, I'm just going to show you how it looks like. So you can see here, the green part is the part where the box number three intersects with box number four. The the normal box, the original box intersects with the angular box. And if we hide this, and if we hide this, we can see that the box is actually subtracted, like so. But this is all in point cloud. So what you want to do is just to have like a pixels, um, pixels of shapes using uh, voxels. So, we've already got the shape over here. So we want to have like a cube and display as geometry. And there you go. So this is the voxels of the shape. So this is really useful in terms of a, a very complex uh, complex model and very complex mesh because sometimes mesh when you put the texture on it's not going to have like this kind of, um, it's not going to be pixelated as such. But this is a very useful tool, and this is a very simple way to explain on how the voxels, uh, Boolean voxels, work in TireFlow. And you want to have, for example, a larger voxels just to fill in the gaps using the size scale 150. You don't have, you don't want a variation. That's probably too big. There you go. What I want to do? Yep. So there you go. 
you can actually export this, render this to you can actually export this particle to a to the model. Let's just let's open this up. Export as object, then type flow node, export layer as voxels, for example, and then just export. Yes. Now it's going to have it's going to be quite some time to export the tire flow to to 3ds to the scene. So export in, exporting particles in 3ds Max is quite similar to baking in in Grasshopper, but in Grasshopper it's sort of like transforming the shape, whereas this one here it needs some pro, uh, process and calculation. And the way it works, if you can see here, that exports object name and export layer. The way 3ds Max works in layers is quite different from uh, from other layers. So a layer is not a single object, but layer is a is a com is a set of objects. So you want to play the layers and the objects um, really really closely. For example, here is the default. I have several objects. So this is how it works in 3ds Max. So when you see the this tie flow here is exported. You can see the tie flow nodes from number one to whatever produced in here, and it's going to be under the voxels layer. So let's just wait until this is exported processing. All right, so exporting is done. So as you can see here, there's a new layer called voxels. If we hide this one up, and these are all the tie flow nodes. As you can see here, this is all all the tie flow, and you can see that there is a there is the, the boolean. But sometimes when exporting the voxels, it can have like um, it can have this kind of thing. It can have this kind of form. So to be careful when option uh, when putting the option over here. So I just did it uh, very quickly just to just to show you how it works and just to show you how it can it how it can be done. Uh, how can boolean be done in different ways? And for example, this one here is from tire flow. So that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.